Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi everybody, I am Linda Cullen from Crafty Stampin' and this is Coffee and Crafts. Welcome, this is my live card making show and today we're gonna play with the butterfly bouquet. I guess I'm gonna call it a bundle. Um, with the butterfly brilliance stamp set and brilliant wings, dies, and the butterfly Oh, God, it just went out of my head. Oh, never mind. Paper. Ah, brain. Hello and welcome. And we're going to tell you how that the day's going to go. Um, thank you, everybody, for sticking with me from <clears throat> yesterday, the move. I, if you followed me on Facebook, we were getting a delivery and they called the day before. And we're like, yep, we're going to be there between 11 and 3. And I'm like, Murphy's Law. I'm going to go live and the doorbell is going to ring. Um, of course, they showed up at noon, and it was supposed to be this, you know, lovely white glove, deliver it to the location, open it, put it together, you know, take away all the stuff, and the guy looks at me, yeah, no, delivery only, no, delivery only. So that was the, my day, the rest of the day was calling, you know, vendors and various things. So we have it set up, we got a tempo, it is like the Peloton of, um, weightlifting so it's a big screen with a person you know telling you what to do and it says you know whether you've done it right or wrong so i'm excited to use it i haven't used it yet that's my uh when i get down here where i'm gonna go and then i my arms i'm sure will be totally limp and i won't be able to stamp for the weekend but let's see we'll see how that goes so i see everyone's jumping on welcome welcome thank you let me show you what it is we're gonna do today if you didn't see the stamp and scoop on tuesday which you should be always checking out the stamp and scoop um uh, i showed this off this was a swap card that i did for the butterfly bouquet uh, bundle with tammy white and we're going to recreate it here today i loved the kind of rainbow feel so um that is what we're going to do and everybody jumping on i see a bunch of people sharing i see thank you and my way of thanking you for watching me and for sharing this is to do some giveaways so today's fun giveaways are um at the end of today's broadcast if you pop on and just say hi and you got to leave the co a comment on the original Facebook, Linda Crafty Stampin' Facebook page, I will draw a winner for the 2000, this seems so long ago, the 2015-2017 in color doilies. Um, we have some of these, well, we have the Poppy Parade and I think, is that pool party? Um, still, but these are always fun. I love adding these to um, projects. So I'm going to give that away at the end of this broadcast. And I'll, like I said, all you have to do is pop on and leave a comment. And if you are not lucky enough to win that, or you're watching this later on repeat, either on Facebook or on YouTube, leave a comment below and I'll enter you to win the So Hoppy Together stamp set. And I will pick that. I, hopefully I will be on next Thursday. And just so you know, I usually pull names in the morning before I do the live. Um, so if you are watching this really late, um, I probably have already pulled the, pulled the names, but I usually do it in the morning. So just FYI on that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to have to take a drink in a minute. Oh, all right. So let's pick a winner. That didn't go. Let's try that again. There we go. Let's pick a winner from last time's, uh, watch later. And that was the punch party stamp set. That is the stamp set that was, if you have either had an order over 300 or hosted a uh, party over 300 that the hostess got with celebration, which unfortunately has now ended. And I'm so upset that all those papers are gone, but there's another one coming in July. So we'll see what exciting stuff and it will be all different stuff. So I'm excited to see that, but we're going to pick the winner from last time. I've got everyone's name here in random.org. And if you see two names, that means that person shared this video and then came back and commented shared with the D and I gave you a second entry. So we're going to scroll up here to the top so everyone can see their name and I'm going to hit randomize and the name that pops to the top is going to be our winner and that is Punky, Punky Charbonneau. Congratulations Punky Punky. Head over to craftystampin.org. No, <laughs> dot com. I'm a dot com. I've always been a dot com. Don't know where the dot org came from. I'm a dot com. 
Um, so head over there right in the middle. I kind of updated stuff. I got a giveaway button. If you click on that, you will get a, another page. And on that page, there is a, another button that says claim your prize. Fill out, click that, fill out the form, and I will get that in the mail to you. All right, one last time. Let's look at what we're going to do. Okay. And then I think, I think, I think, oh. I like to do a fun little reminder. I, in addition, I do giveaways during my lives, but I also do giveaways for anyone who purchases from me during the month. So my month of March rewards, use the uh, hostess code you see there if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, you automatically get it. Um, any purchase gets a, a free one car tutorial. Any purchase over $50 gets the one car tutorial and the four car tutorial, um, which is the butterfly brilliance. And if you spend over $100, I will send you champagne rhinestones and those will go up the following month. <gasps> okay, I'm ready to, ready to to play. Hold on, webcam. <gasps> oh no, hold on, look at this. It's upside down. So if you watch the scoop, we have to use a different software. So hold on, I hope this works. I have to, I have to turn my camera around because this software does it one way and the software I use with Tammy on the scoop does it a different way. And I forgot to turn it around. Boy, I always know, I'm like, I got it all working. Nope, all right, let's hope that, oh, okay. Ooh, blurry, hold on. All right, I just gotta fix a few things on the side. So how is everyone doing? Tell me your weather, tell me, tell me your stories. What is new in the world for everybody? You got snow still, yes, no, we still have a bit. Looking forward to getting rid of it. Um, autofocus, I gotta, hold on, just zoom this in. Autofocus out. Okay, and then back out. All right, let's see how this looks. Hey, so much better. How is everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see everyone's popping on. I see a bunch of good mornings. How are we? All right. Here we go. Now, uh, if you're new to Coffee and Crafts, I always do a um, PDF to back this up. PDF has the pictures. It has all the cut sizes. Look at all those cuts. Um, they're really simple. I'll show you how. Um, all the supplies and little place to take notes. It has links to get back to the blog post. That blog post usually will go up in about an hour after this broadcast, um, and that'll be at craftystampin.com. I want to say org all of a sudden. I'm not org. I'm .com. I don't, don't know where that's all of a sudden coming out of my head. So this is what we're going to make. So then I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks along the way. So we're going to start here. All right. Oh, I didn't score. Oh, please. Oh. I like scoring with my scoreboard. I can score with my um, trimmer, but this is my preferred method, quite honestly. Um, so score my basic black uh, cardstock, and we're gonna fold, and I'm gonna get my bone folder out. All right, so there's my card base. And I'm gonna put that aside for right now. I'm going to work with just a basic black panel to begin with. And first thing we're gonna do, where'd my card go? All right, first thing, let's do this rainbow background. Now, if you saw the scoop, okay. So I like to make these color palettes um, of, the D of DSP makes it a lot easier when I'm trying to design, you know, kind of gets my, my, my creative juices going. Um, I liked all these colors and the pretty rainbow that they created. Cause if this is a piece of the, um, DSP, the butterfly Bayou, there we go. Um, and you know, on the, if you put it kind of on the angle, it starts with, you know, the saffron goes to the melody, um, and it moves right along. So you can see, I really tried to recreate all those colors that are in that rainbow in that DSP all along here. So that's where we're starting. So the first thing I did was I cut 
all those colors. Um, and I cut them at four and a quarter and then the entire length. So I just went through and cut all the paper in half at four and a quarter. So four and a quarter by 11. So these are all my, my kind of my leftovers, um, which is what we're going to use. And I did some funky math and you know, we got, I got five and a half going across. So I divided it. It was a little of bijou, bijou, bijou. There it is. I am terrible at some words. They just do not come out. Bijou. Thank you, Janet. <laughs> and it's like the brain's not working today. Um, so what I did, let's see if I can scroll in for you. It was a smidge over half an inch to get all these different colors to fit. So I took some, this is a, here's my trimmer at the bottom. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see. It's at the very bottom of my stamp and trimmer. I took, this is my post-it notes. And I don't know if you can tell. There's probably 10 sheets here. And I stuck it just a smidge over the inch and a half. And it is attached. So now it is like a, a stopper um, for cutting paper. So let's scroll out so you can kind of see it in action a little bit. So I'm just going to take each piece, put it up to here with my trimmer, and cut. Boom. So there's my misty moonlight. I'm going to pull the next one. Boom. There's my Bermuda Bay. Just jade. And it's really easy this way now to cut uh, all of these different ones. That's mint macaron. This one is blushing. Blushing Bride. Magenta Madness. Come on. Poppy Parade. Calypso Coral. And Magenta. No. Mango Melody, I got my M's, and then So Saffron, So Saffron. All right, so see how quick that was to cut all those different colors? All the same size. All right, so I'm gonna put these away. And now we're going to attach them to this panel. So though, for me, I need to put them in order or I will attach them in the wrong order because I'll get thinking of something else. Bum, bum, bum. And next thing I know, they're not in the order they're supposed to be. Where do I keep putting the card? Lordy, Linda. Okay. So, so we're going to go saffron. And this is, again, we're kind of using this as our um, template. So saffron. Mango, Poppy, nope, Calypso, Poppy, uh, Magenta, Magenta, Blushing Bride, Mint, Jade, Bermuda, Misty, bum, bum, bum. All right, so I'm going to start with, I have these little um, mason jars. Then I got the little mason jar, uh, shot jars. I got them probably at Michael's or something. I use them to um, hold my glue. So I have one for my Tombow uh, multi-purpose and also one for my um, fine tip. And it keeps them up, but that's getting empty. Hold on. Grab a, that is not a fresh one. Hold on. Oh, all right. I may have to go digging further. Let's see how far we get with this one. All right. Come on. Uh-oh. That was too much glue. Right off the bat, too much glue. All right. So I'm just going to go through. This one's kind of the most important one to get this one on straight. And I'm going to have excess glue. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. All right, it's gonna scoot out that side, that's fine. All right, and now I'm just going to, all right, there we go, light touch of glue. Oops. And here we go with mango. And then Calypso. Okay, uh, Calypso. Poppy, poppies. Look at all the poppies. I don't know. It's sometimes I get you get phrases in your head and you can't let them go. Uh, magenta. Blushing bride. Mint macaron. And okay, oops. Jade, just jade. Bermuda Bay. I tend to prefer when I'm card making to use tape runners. You know, seal and snail, but for this type of thing, the uh, liquid glue is your friend. And there we go. Okay, so now I have them all attached, and that was super quick. Liquid glue is your friend on this one. So now, oh, I didn't grab. I need my embossing folder, which, so we're gonna use the ornate floral. And let's pull over my big boss. And this is a 3D embossing folder. So I'm using my base plate, the number one plate my embossing folder. I'm putting my rainbow in here. Closing that up. And I'm going to run that through. There we go. Halfway through I'm going to stop and get a tissue because that's how life live works. Ah, here we go. All right. So now it kind of gives this like quilted effect. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see it really kind of brings together that rainbow. All right, so move that here. I'm gonna move this over here for a second. Now I'm gonna trim this. I just checking my size. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to trim off some edges so that it kind of neatens it up. And I'm actually I'm this is where this does not always work the best if you have to take smidges off. Let's see how it works. If not, I'll go over to my big cutter. Okay, there we go. See, actually worked out. But I took like an eighth of an inch. If you try to take smaller than an eighth of an inch with the um, this cutter, because it's a knife that drags through the paper versus like a roller um, type paper cutter, um, it'll work better. So let's see. If I do that again, that puts me at, oh, that puts me at a good size. Okay, so we'll take off about another eighth here and that'll put me at just about four. There we go. Okay. So for a card. Alright, so now I'm gonna take off a smidge on both ends. That's wrong. Pull this out. And 
That one didn't work. That one didn't work. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Wow, that really didn't work. All right, hold on. Fix, fix. Wow. All right, hold on. I have a big rotary cutter. I'm gonna cut that off. So sometimes the pull on those does not always work with this when you want to take off smidges. All right. So my advice would be if that was um, the case was to make it a bit even bigger so that you're not taking tiny, tiny bits that you're only you're taking like quarter inches. All right. So that's how that's going to fit on here. So let's attach that. This I'm just attaching with seal. Okay, so next I'm going to take um, this pretty rainbow paper, bring back my cutter, make sure I didn't leave anything in the groove. All right, and so I'm going to take two inches here. And I have a piece of um, basic black that's an eighth. It's the same width. Well, this is a full six. I haven't cut it off. This is the five and a half by two and an eighth. We'll trim it when we get it attached here. Because, so I got a little bit of the pink and the yellow and lots of blues. I'm going to go with this end of this paper and cut off. And I'm going to cut off this end. Actually, we'll just do that with scissors. There we go. The embossing folder was ornate floral. Sorry. Ornate floral 3D. Okay. So now we're going to add this Inspire. That is from. Wherever I put it, it's silhouette, sweet silhouette. Here we go. Sweet silhouette dies. So it comes with, if I back it up. So it's got this lovely tree. It's got a nice dandelion and it's got three words. It's got adventure, forever, and inspire. So we're going to use the inspire today. And like I said, I was doing this for a um, swap. So I had to do eight of them. So what I did was I cut a piece of our basic black uh, to six by the 11 and I attached our adhesive sheet to the entire thing. So, and then I cut out each of the inspires. I even cut out adventure once I was playing with whether I was gonna put adventure on here or not. Um, and then, so like right now I'm gonna use it, then I'll just keep this. If I need to adhere something else black, I'll just pull this out. It's already got all the adhesive on it. I don't have to worry about cutting out individual pieces of the adhesive. Easy peasy. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Bring back my big boss. Okay. So this time now, because I'm using um, a die, I'm gonna use the beginner, the uh, base plate, the number one, the die plate, the number two, and I have two cutting plates. I always keep one plate always as the top and one plate always as the bottom. They're supposed to get all beat up. This is what's gonna take the beating are your plates. Um, by keeping one plate as the top, um, they will actually, this rough will put impressions in your paper. So I keep this on the bottom and I'll keep the impressions to the bottom of the paper so I don't care and it will keep the top, you know, it'll get, the top will get, and you know, roughed up, but not as bad, and it'll keep the impressions to a minimum. And then when this one gets too beat up, I'll put, this one will move to the bottom, and I'll get a brand new clear plate for the top. So that's how I manage my plates. And then this will, I'll flip, the, I'll flip them back and forth upside down, but I won't, um, like I said, I won't do top and bottom. All right, so here is my 
paper. And I will tell you, um, in doing this, I won't run this, like, when I first started and I was cutting up here, I didn't run it all the way through the big, big boss. I ran it just to that it cut and then I rolled it back. There's no sense trying to put impressions in all of this um, paper because it will put the every time it will put an impression of some sort on it. So I'm going to use some post-it notes to attach. Put this here. Line this up so it's straight and send this through. There we go. Get going. So go through and then I'm going to go back. Kind of gives it two two turns. Okay. All right, so what I also did to make this a little bit easier when trying to apply it, if I can find it, I took two pieces, I think these were thick, thick basic white or whisper white or um, the vanilla, and I cut them to the size of my DSP. So, and then I took really good care as to where the word was placed. So this is where I am going to want it placed on my DSP. So now when I was doing 10, each one would end up in the exact same place. It also helped me place the dots on the eyes because those are a pain in the butt. Um, so let me show you how I used this template that I created. So I'm going to take the pieces off of here. This is where pokey tools come in handy. And let's see. All right, so the whole thing came out. I'm going to start with, so you can see, let me pull you in. All right, get the bag out of the way. That's going to annoy me. All right, so I'm going to start with the dots, because this one, you can see this one, the, the backing already came off, and this one still has the backing. What I'm actually going to do, see if I can get the backing off this one. All right, so both dots on the eyes, the backing is off. I'll line this up again where I want it. And I'm going to stick the whole die in that hole. So now it's where I want it. Take my pokey end of the take a pick tool and I'm going to gently push down on those eyes, dots of eyes, and then slowly pull them up. All right, so there are, there's my eyes. Okay, pull this back out. Oh, well, you know what? That stayed there, we're gonna leave that there. I, that was not my intention, but some of these you just kind of roll with how it goes. So, all right, actually, it's not. Let's pull that out. I'll show you how I did it. All right. So there are my eyes, dots on my eyes, and I can kind of line that back up. Put there. So I'm going to pop, get rid of the centers of the S and the E. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to remove the backing. Come on. There we go. All right, so the adhesive is all exposed, and kind of attach it to my take a pick tool. All right, line up my uh, dots of my eyes, and I'm just going to start up here. Push this in, and just kind of go slow, and now just kind of go over it. Make sure it gets adhered. Then what I'm going to take is, this will work. These are the palette uh, spreaders for the um, paste. Just in case, because it's going to want to stick to the thing, is I can just kind of go through. And make sure that I don't pull up my newly adhered word. And now I'm just going to go over it again with my finger 
and it is attached just where I want it, where multiple ones could be attached. And um, I could do tons of them. It was actually pretty easy to do a whole bunch that way. Anything that uh, makes it easier. No. All right, so now bring back my card base. I'm gonna take uh, dimensionals, pop this up on dimensional. And I'm going to attach these. Now I fussy cut tons and tons and tons of the tiny butterflies. And I have them all in a plastic cup somewhere. For the life of me, I can't find it. All right. So see how we kind of got the blues and then the greens that kind of match up? All right. So now we're going to add butterflies. <laughs> For the life. Oh, here they are. Found them. Okay, so here are. So I have a cup, and just as I cut out and I have extra butterflies, they all go in here. So let's take these big ones out. So I fussy cut a whole bunch of these. So let's take these out. And I'm going to use this one. And let's use that one. What else do I got? All right, so I got a fussy cut, a couple more. So. We're gonna fussy cut this big yellow one. I find it's easier to remove it from the larger DSP. And what other one? I need you, I need the little pink one. All right, go this way. Okay. To remove it from the bigger DSP before I start doing the fine trimming. So now. You can see me. All right, so here we go. I don't mind fussy cutting too much. It's kind of, in some ways, it can be very relaxing. For me, it's easier to kind of keep the scissors in one place and move around the paper um, versus, you know, I'm going to cut off his little antennae. Antennae. You don't really see them. around we go and I guess I can't talk and concentrate oh One butterfly. All right, so he's going to go here, and I need this pink one. So out you come. And same as last one. This one's a little easier. He's kind of smoother. There we go. Lost my grip for a sec. So, what's everybody got planned for the weekend? So I know everyone's weather. Now what's up for the weekend? How much uh, chance of crafting does everybody have? Or do you craft all week and take the weekend off? We are waiting on weather in which we can get outside in the garden, personally. All right, so there's my butterfly. So I'm going to attach them with... Uh, Glue dots. Oh, I forgot to put that in the the list of products. I apologize. All right, so I like to fold them in half, and then I can stick that right in the middle of the butterfly, and then now he's attached to my take a pick tool, and it allows me to kind of decide how I like them. I can just stick them down, and I can kind of then curl, still curl the leaves that way. I'll do this one before. Ah, Diana's crafty today. It's cra crafty all the time around here. Like, if my options are housework or crafting, crafting. Yes. Okay, so 
the pink butterfly down here. Okay, come on. And then curl this one. Boom. And you are coming down here. And where'd the little one go? There he is. The little guy, the baby butterfly. All right, and pull him up. There we go. We're gonna stick him kind of like I wanted it to look like he'd landed on the the eye, but I spent so much time getting the eye on the dot of the eye. So now I'm. I'd rather move it just a little bit, like he's sitting up there. Now we're not done yet. No, no. Oh, but now, because. This just calls out for matte black dots. So let's see. Let's do a little one down here. A little one. Come here, little one. And let's do a big one. Everything in threes. There we go. There you go. And that is my swap card that I did for the beautiful, beautiful butterfly bouquet that's heimlich from uh and oh god this is where my brain just poof gone bug's life i want to say an ant's life ant's life sounds wrong bug's life heimlich a beautiful butterfly and then all these big fat caterpillar with tiny little wings can't even can't even fly okay so if you have popped on while we were watching we are going to do a giveaway now and the to be entered you just need to leave a comment and all you have to do is say hi and I'm gonna head over here for a second while you look at the cards and pull in um, everyone's comments thank you a bug's life yes a bug's life I watched that a bazillion times when my kids were little um, that and Nemo were the ones that were constantly on repeat I had a DVD player in the back seat of my car. So I got very used to uh, listening to these shows without watching them. All right, so I have my comments. Now we're gonna pull you over. Let's see what, if I can get it in screen so you can see the names. Okay, so I'm now gonna hit start. A bunch of names are gonna fly by and then it'll pop up and say the winner is and that'll be our winner for our in color doilies. And our winner is Angelica Leary. Angelica, congratulations. Head yourself over to craftystampin.com. And if you go to giveaways and click claim your prize, you will be uh, fill out the form and I will get those in the mail to you. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I will be back next week, hopefully on Thursday, and we'll have something fun to make then. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend and have a great, great day and weekend. Hold on, I gotta change this up. Okay, bye.